some unpredictable gifts. The Cultural Traffic Fair will be at Spitalfields Market this weekend at the Trim Room Brewery, with independent producers selling a range of books, designs, prints and music. Well, here to tell us more is the founder, Toby Mott. Give us a sense of what this is about. Well, we're doing something that's different from your fight down Oxford Street and your uh, repetitive shopping experience. So this is stuff you can't find online, you can't find it on Amazon. This is independently produced art books, um, prints, and then vintage material, posters and stuff from what is known as subculture or counterculture. So it's something away from the mainstream and something much more exciting and vital than what is offered in the high streets and shopping centres around the UK today. So what made you want to do this? This is the second fair at the Truman Brewery, housed in Juju's, it's very easy to find, because uh, everything is quite repetitive and the same, and you go online and the, there is no experience, there is no interaction. Whereas when you visit cultural traffic, you're engaging with a community of creative artists, who mainly it's sole practitioners, um, and it's really, I experienced that in America, in New York, the New York Art Book Fair and the Los Angeles Art Book Fair, and I wanted to bring that energy and culture back to London, which um, there are these people, these artists making stuff, and we needed a hub and a venue and an event, so cultural traffic is it, and it's here as also something we realise people have to buy gifts, and if people are interested in the arts and stuff, that's probably not so easy to do. So they can do that at cultural traffic. You use the phrase counterculture. Do you think there's a real surgence of that at the moment? Oh, absolutely. With um, the incoming American president and uh, Brexit, and I guess the people this uh, uh, appeals to who are probably not supporters of those political changes. Um, so it's a venue for them to you know, engage with each other and share ideas of how we are going to move forward in this difficult political climate. I think a lot of people turn to the internet and high street shops because they know what the price brackets are going to be of, of, of what they're visiting. Right. So for people who hear perhaps independent traders, something a bit more bespoke, is it affordable? Oh, it's very affordable. There's people there making fanzines from uh, five pounds up to, you know, posters from Paris 1968 for a couple of hundred pounds. So it's everything in between, but really you're getting something that you won't find elsewhere. And there's uh, feminist co-ops there, there's people coming from Paris with a kind of more European-wide um, ideas and inclusivity. Um, there's a whole area of LGBT. So it really is not the mainstream. And if you're interested in something a bit different, you will see it cultural traffic. And where and when is it? So it's at the Truman Brewery, which is on Brick Lane, E1, nearest tube, Allgate East or Liverpool Street. And within the Truman Brewery, just look for Juju's Bar and Stage. And it's this Saturday and Sunday from 11 till 8pm each day. Fantastic, Toby Mott. Thank you so much for joining us this lunchtime. Yeah.